Getting all emotional. My favorite thing is highlighter. It is everything on planet Earth. Hey guys, welcome back to Makeup Like This. I'm Nikki Tutorials, and today we are playing with foundation sticks. I'm gonna show you how to create the most flawless, beautiful base. Let's go. So the first thing we're gonna do is go in with the Master Fix Spray. This is a little trick I like to use to make everything last a little bit longer. So the first thing you're gonna do is take a nice little distance and spray. Wakes you right up. It's like, I am ready to take on this day. Now, we're gonna go in with the most exciting part, the foundation stick. This right here is the new Super Safe foundation stick. It is a beauty. Where do I need it? Do I need it here? Do I need it here? Find your area where you need the most coverage. For me, it's everywhere. So I'm gonna start right underneath the eyes. Just make simple little stripes. Same for the face. You're gonna look like art in two seconds. Just stripe it on, get yourself there, and feel like you have a nice beginning. So I'm gonna go in with a blender. This is the Maybelline sponge, and I'm gonna take the flat edge. We're just gonna bounce this in. No smearing, no wiping. What's gonna happen when you bounce is you keep all the pigmentation. Once you swipe, you lose it. It also really helps to have a damp sponge. So that is your first layer blended in to perfection. This is a light casual day, this is all we need. If you have a party or something important to go to, double up. So wherever you feel like you need more coverage, go in and apply it. For me, it's usually the cheekbones, plus you can also kind of highlight with this. Blend it in right away. You almost always want most coverage to come from the center of your face and then it tapers out. So you never want to start at your hairline. So that's why I love this stick. You can really build it up. You can go for a really nice natural light look or you can pot A. Now that we've done that, it's time for concealer. Now I like a nice creamy one. So I'm gonna go in with this Age Rewind. Place it underneath the eye where your dark circles are, but then also throughout the center of the face to give that nice flawless effect from within. Back in with the blender sponge. Tap, tap, tap. Little trick, as you notice, I'm waiting with buffing in my under eyes. If you want more coverage, let it sit there for a little. What this is gonna do, when it becomes a little bit drier, the pigments settle a little bit, and settled pigments means coverage. So if you have problem areas, put that concealer on, give it a minute, chat about life, give it a minute. This way, you can transform pretty much all concealers into a full coverage dream. All you gotta do is wait. Now, we wanna set it and forget it. You wanna go in with a powder to set it and not think about it for the rest of the day. It's gonna look flawless all day long, plus it will also give you a little bit more coverage. So my favorite for this, Fit Me Powder, the loose powder in number five. Before you go in, you wanna make sure that all creases are gone. Dip the butt of your blender into the powder with your sponge, mm-hmm, and then set it. And it will make it stay there for the rest of the day. Okay, under eyes are set, but what we do with the rest of the face? My favorite for this is going in with a pressed powder. This is the Fit Me Pressed Powder. And I just take a loose, sort of like slanted kabuki brush. So no buffing and swiping, because that's gonna get rid of all your coverage. Tap, 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 tap. This will mattify. This will make it last. Now you wanna get rid of the baking going on right here. My secret trick for this, get a powder puff. Go in, a little eye massage, get rid of the bake. So to finish off this flawless base, we're gonna do a little bit of blush. So I always like mixing a peachy and a pinky shade. This right here is mauve, this right here is coral. Coral and mauve together create like the perfect flush tone. So you wanna take a fluffier brush. The stiffer and the more dense the brush, 
the more coverage. The fluffier the brush, the lighter of coverage. Grabbing both colors, smile. Put it on the apples, ding, 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 ding. But then you wanna sweep it back. This will give the most natural feel. Now we're gonna highlight. We're gonna go in with the Master Holographic. When you put it on a tinier brush, spray the brush and do short circular motions on the cheekbone. Throw it into the brow bone. I always bring it to the front of like right here so that when you smile, that little sheen pops up and people are like, what you been doing, girl? Tip of the nose, keep it well. Ooh, I'm gonna take the Master Fix spray. Because we applied pretty much a lot of powder. You wanna settle that in. You wanna set it down and spray it and kind of make everything look like skin again. Spray powdered skin and it transforms it back into skin. Grab anything you can grab. Fan, fan, I am ready to take on the world. And now you're like, okay, but we did all of that. We want a little bit more structure to the face. The great thing about the Super Stay Foundation Sticks is that they come in a very wide range of colors. So you can take a darker color and contour with it. So what we're gonna do is take the darker shade and we're just gonna create a line underneath the cheek like that. And then we're gonna take the little other end of it and buff it out. Little circular motions. Blend the edges in, and you are contoured. All right guys, that wraps up this video on the new Super Safe Foundation Stick. Don't forget, there are 16 shades at Ulta, and I cannot wait to see you on the next one. We come every Monday on the Maybelline channel, so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of this fun content. I will see you on the next one.